Hello everybody! In this video I'm going to tell you about environment variables in Windows and why we need them. How to add a program to variables to enable quick start from the command prompt, how to use short paths to system folders, and how to find and use environment variables in the registry and in the command prompt. Hello friends! If you need to recover deleted data, view, restore, remove browsing history, Hetman Software Products will help you. Follow the link in the description, download the necessary program for free, install it and analyze the disk. The utility will show you the data you can recover, so you will be able to view it or get it back. In our channel and blog you will find solutions to any problem, from installing an operating system or configuring it to fixing possible bugs and errors or optimizing mobile gadgets. Our specialists will answer any questions you ask in your comments under the videos or articles. Environment variable is a very useful function mostly demanded by system administrators. Most often they are required to write universal scripts running on computers with various settings which may change. Also in Windows there is an environment variable path, which allows quicker access to programs for the, from the command prompt and without using the path to the folder containing such a program. Adding a folder to the path variable if you often work with the command prompt, you may have asked yourself a question – why some commands can be entered without a full path, while starting others requires their full path to be given or even asks you to go to the folder containing such a program? The matter is that the operating system has a certain variable path, which stores paths to popular system folders. They are checked to see if the executable file you are using in the command prompt is there. Now, how can we add such a folder, so that when we use the command prompt later, we will not have to go to the directory containing the program or enter the path to its folder? To add it, open System Properties. To do it, enter sysdm.cpl into the search field or just right-click on this PC, select Properties, go on to Advanced System Settings and find Environment Variables in the tab Advanced. In the window that opens, find Paths. Open it for the current user in User Variables and for general access in System Variables. Select it, click Edit, then New and paste the path to the necessary folder or click Browse and show the path, then click OK. For example, I will add the path to the folder containing Google Chrome Browser, C Program Files, x86, Google Chrome Application. After that, when I open the command prompt, type Chrome and press Enter. The browser will start. After you have added a folder, restart the command prompt, otherwise the command will not work properly. This way, any folder containing a program you need can be added to environment variables. You can also view environment variables in the registry. To open the registry, enter regedit in the search field and run it, then follow the path hkey, local machine, system, current control set, control, session manager, environment. This is where you can see environment variables. You can add a variable into the registry in two ways. You can right-click in the register editor and select New, or use the command prompt, for example, for the variable named var and contents val. I will do it by entering the following command. After that, a variable with the value var will appear in the registry. You can also view variables in the command prompt by running the command set to show the list of all variables and to save all environment variables and their values into a text file, run this command. And a file containing the list of all variables will appear in the specified location. How to create a shortcut using a short path and how to work with variables. All popular system folders are listed in environment variables, so you can use them to create a shortcut without specifying the full path. For example, I'm going to create a registry shortcut with using a short path to such folder. Right-click, New, Shortcut, and in the path I'll write percent vendor percent backslash regedit.exe, and the registry shortcut is created. I have not given the full path, which looks like this. See Windows regedit.exe, but use the short link instead. You can also use such short commands to quickly open system folders, for example, users folders. To do it, I'll type percent home path percent into the search field and press Enter. The current users folder will open in a new window. In the same way, you can get into other folders, for example, app data or temp. In the search field, enter percent app data percent or percent temp percent, and the necessary folder will open.
To get the value of an environment variable from the command prompt, the command echo is used. For example, I will enter this command, which shows the processor tab for the current computer. To modify the value of a variable, use the command set. For example, to change the value of temp, enter the following. The command set is used for one-time actions, but for regular action you should modify the value in the environment variable settings. You can find the link to the list of variables in the description under the video. That is all for now. Hit the like button and subscribe to our channel. Leave comments to ask questions. Thank you for watching. Good luck!